Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Miracast not working on Windows 10 after you've done an update. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot, best match or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel here. And then you want to go down underneath find and fix other problems and select network adapter, find and fix problems with wireless and other network adapters and select run the troubleshooter. Once that's done, close out of here. Go back into the start menu and you want to go search for device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. So go open that up. You want to expand network adapters. So double click on it. And then you want to locate your network connection in here. Right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one. Otherwise, if there's only a generic one, that's the one you're going to go with and then select next and then once it's done just close out of here restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem if you're still having issues close out of there open up the start menu type in control panel best result should come back with control panel listed right above app go ahead and left click on that set your view by to category view and then select the network and internet select the network and sharing center Select change advanced sharing settings on the left side here. And then you want to make sure network discovery is turned on. Select save changes. And then close out of here. Open up the start menu again. Type in services. Best match. Or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the DNS client service. Right here. Double click on it. Make sure startup type is automatic and then it is also running. So if it's not automatic, click in the drop down, set it to automatic, and if the service is stopped, select the start button and then select apply and OK. And again, see if that resolves the problem. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.